Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today, I'm on Path of Legends pushing top ladder using the best Hog Rider deck in Clash Royale. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to use this deck, give you guys my strategy, decision making, and thought process, and teach you how to have success with and win with this deck. This is one of the most consistent archetypes of all time in Clash Royale, which means it's going to be perfect for top ladder pushing, mid ladder pushing, or even winning classic and grand challenges. Now, I'm going to be going for a top 1000 in the world, and I'll hopefully be having a lot of fun while doing so. So let's get right into some Hog Rider matches, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now, Hog Rider as a whole, again, has been one of the most consistent archetypes in this game for years. I believe the Hog Rider itself has not received any balances in maybe three years or more. So it's always been kind of a strong card. You know, lots of people who don't have the right counters to it do complain that it always gets that one hit uh, at the very end on one HP. Although it does have a fair amount of counters too. You know, any building, tornado, mini P.E.K.K.A. and stuff like that. Now, Hog was not in the greatest spot a few months ago for a while because of the Dagger Duchess, which was so oppressive against the Hog. But, courtesy of the most recent balance changes, Dagger Duchess did receive a well-deserved nerf, and now everyone is back to using the Princess Tower, as you can see our opponent himself here in our first match, which means it is once again time for this 4 Elixir man to have its have his spot in the spotlight. So, I'm playing this deck, Hog Rider Earthquake, which is going to have the Mighty Miner, which is a very solid champion, and then for evolution options, we have the Evo Firecracker and the Evo Tesla. As you can see right here, Evo Firecracker is so strong. I believe my opponent already went arrows on my first Firecracker, so this one will just get a lot of ability to shine as you can see it nuked the entire push on the right and that was a really clean defense cycling all the way back to an evil firecracker in the first two minutes of the game so we are up against beatdown right now golem to be specific and the biggest thing i can give you guys in terms of advice and strategy against beatdown is single elixir is crucial you can see that i'm going into double elixir with a bit over 2000 damage of a damage lead against him and that is so important because it's going to be pretty difficult to break through once you get laid into the match i get three hits as i said that one hp hawk always gets that hit but yeah single elixir is so important against beatdown because you just really need to get the advantage you know they have a slow cycle you just really need to get things going now he does void my firecracker i don't know if he had arrows or if he had void either way though uh, we are doing pretty good in terms of controlling everything. Evo Tesla, as you can see, does take the bats out with that spawn pulse. And I can just go skellies to kite these spawn skeletons into range of that Evo Tesla, which will subsequently nuke everything. As you can see, Evo Tesla, still one of the best Evos in the entire game, even though base Tesla did get nerfed. So this deck, I do believe, is the best Hog Rider deck in Clash Royale right now, guys. It's just so solid, and you can outplay pretty much any matchup with this if you play well. I'm going to avoid block with the skeletons perfect block as you can see and uh he does indeed have the arrow so i was right on that count i'll just go mighty minor and as you can see i can just defend this whole push i won't take the tower yet i'll go ability look at that amazing bomb and that would have been a very well defended push for the first match of the video so golem kind of annoying but gonna be a great first win of our video today Alright guys, into our second match of the video against Kazu, and as I said, I'm going for a top 1000 in the world, so it's not going to be too easy, but I'll do my best. I am an Expo player, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you'll know that I play Expo, but I actually am pretty versatile. I've played in CRL a bunch of times, and I can just consider myself pretty decent with most decks in the game, so... I think Hog Rider specifically is probably my second favorite archetype in the game, so I should be pretty solid at this deck. Pretty good defense with a Mighty Miner ability plus Bomb, uh, or plus Log rather, Bomb plus Log, but that does mean I'm going to be down a bit of Elixir now, I think, because I spent quite a bit. We are up against Night Witch, Evo Wizard, Skellies. Oh god, guys, this is going to be one of the most toxic decks in the entire game in the form of Elixir Golem, so I am not looking forward to this match. I think it's going to be pretty tough, because I'm pretty sure he has arrows in this deck. I'm going to go for a pre-Tesla against the Skelly King, and I think against this deck, it's very important to pressure as well, but I'm just not sure what the bridge is between overcommitting and pressuring well. I think now is a good time. He's at 5 Elixir, so goes for the Wizard. Might as well just go in, as he has to Night Witch on my Hog. I can perfectly surround this Skeleton King with my Skeletons, as you can see. Well, it does splash a Tesla once, but just keep the Tesla alive a little bit longer. And then I can go Mighty Miner on the Wizard, and Night Witch is basically all taken care of. I'll go Ice Spirit to make super sure that all the bats get taken care of as well. And I'm a bit worried about just how I'm going to defend this, I guess. He's going for good voids on the Mighty Miners, but he's going to build these massive Eagle and pushes, and I'm honestly a bit nervous because... He has arrows for my Firecracker, he has Void for my Tesla, 
and I just don't know how I can deal with so many pushes, but we'll do our best. I think a big thing about this is going to be uh, Mighty Minor ability on defense. So this deck, guys, as I said, you can beat any matchup in the entire game, but it's going to be very micro heavy. You're going to need to have really good micro skills in terms of your defenses to be able to defend against impossible huge beatdown pushes like what we're about to encounter. Let me go for the Ice Spirit to kite this over. Do have an Eva Firecracker in cycle. I should not need to use it yet. I'll just go Skelly Surround again on the Skelly King. Those wizard the back. I'm thinking of going for the mighty in the back to get the three card cycle going. As I said, it's a very good champion. And Hoggy Q specifically does so well with that three card cycle. So you can cycle multiple hogs. If we get two hits here, perfect. Exactly what I wanted to see. Let's go log in the left because I don't want those Evo Skellies to overpopulate. And then I'll just get back to a Tesla first and foremost. I think I might try and Evo Firecracker the bridge here against this Eagle. I think that would be a pretty good play. Because it's going to die no matter what. So let's just go for that right now. And he does get the arrows down before it even gets a shot. Wow, well played to him, man. I can't believe an Eagle Um player has these reaction times that's crazy but how are we going to defend this oh my god double eagle is coming down let's go for the mighty ability to blow those eagle and blobs up then log everything evo tesla death pulse does help out we're going to need some more going on here let's uh log the skeleton ability skellies to kite this night witch over and then last second tesla maybe yo this is so tense but i think i lived wait i have to go Mighty Miner on the Wizard, then I have to go for a late log on the Blobs. I can't believe I actually defended that. That was a crazy defense. That is how you defend Eagle, I guess. Now we're back to the Evo Tesla, and that's going to be a beautiful defense. He goes for the Rage, but yeah, that is basically uh, everything defended. I'll go for the Mighty Ability. Again, log on the Blobs. So it's crucial to control these Blobs, especially at the right times, you know. Go for your Ability at the right time. Let's Firecracker predict something nice, perfect. That's going to be a huge Firecracker splash on the tower, as well as one Hog hit. So we are just kind of running away with this match. As I said, even though he does have the arrows for the firecracker, you... I didn't say this yet, but you can outcycle guys arrows. Like, you can go firecracker first, get back to a new one. As you can see, I went hog there because I wanted him to force uh, support troops in front of that hog. Or in front of the eagle, excuse me. I just wanted to not let him build up a massive push, if that makes sense. And he already went, you know, night witch plus arrows. That's seven elixir that doesn't even support the eagle and push. So we're back to a second tesla right now, which is super crucial get for the firecracker too, which... Uh, you cannot cycle to multiple firecrackers if they have arrows, you know, it's actually a pretty important play. Call's a good game. I think it might indeed be over, as I said. I've outcycled the arrows once more. Let's go for the hog. With this mighty plus firecracker push, pre-EQ on the skeletons. He just goes skeletons up high. That's going to be one, two hits. That's going to be good game. Beautiful win against Egolem, guys. Two beatdown decks in a row. Golem and then Egolem Void. But we were able to get the job done. That's going to be a pretty nice situation. That's going to put us almost in top 1.5k. So let's keep the ladder push going. Alright guys, into our game against 8023, very interesting name, and he does have a top global tournament finish, it should be a somewhat decent player. Again, in terms of the best evos, wow, okay, log is nowhere to be seen, don't you guys just love getting started handed by the Goblin Barrel, that is just so fun, love log bait, but I do think that these are definitely the best evos, you can also run evo skellies if you want, but... I think Evo Tesla Evo Firecracker is the best, and if you guys don't have Mighty Miner unlocked, you can run the uh, Knight instead of the Mighty Miner in the second. It works perfectly fine. Also, kind of slight misplay there going Hog in front of the Mighty Miner, but we will get the Mighty to stay alive. I might as well pop my ability. No, it doesn't come down in time. That's unfortunate. I'll have to go Ice Spirit Skellies for this right side Spear Goblin set, and we'll take a bit of chip anyways. Although I have outcycled the Inferno Tower right now, guys. A uh, big thing about Hoggy Q against cycle decks especially is using your fast cycle to outcycle them. And right here, he's not back. As you can see, he has to go for the Rocket, which is a good play. I think it's the only play he had available to take the Hog out. But it does just mean he's going to have a straight up minus two Elixir trade, which he obviously doesn't want to do. So pretty happy about that. Uh, just outcycling is super crucial against lots of cycle decks, whether it's Log Bait, whether it's Expo, whether it's even a Hog Mirror matchup. Those are some of the more common cycle decks in the meta right now. It does activate King, fair enough. The problem with Firecracker, guys, is they get a King Tower activation, but you can't really do much about it. You just kind of have to let it go. Wow, nice. He does go Princess Bridge, but my Skellies on the Ice Spirit did catch that, so that's important. It's going to be very important later on this match to actually catch uh, princesses let's go for the eq cycle honestly just to take those spear goblins out and get some damage a very big tip that i can give you guys in almost every matchup with this deck is you want to go opposite lane because they want to build up pushes in one side you don't want to play your hogs into their pushes and just give them support troops to build up even bigger pushes so you're going to have to go opposite lane in a lot of matchups with this deck so hopefully that's another helpful tip for you guys because i see a lot of people making the mistake of going same lane at random times 
and you just put yourself at disadvantage. Let's play cards in the middle. Very important trick again against Princess. Not even a trick, just an important, like, fundamental way to play the game. Let's go for a hog. Since that eye tower is basically about to die, let's pre-EQ on the next eye tower as we do outcycle the Inferno Tower this time and get that rocket forced out. As you can see, I'm already back to my hog, guys. So another tip with the outcycling aspect is you can utilize your Mighty Miner to use the crazy three-card cycle to your advantage. Right now, we're just going to Quake. Even though I'm not going to get any damage, eye tower is one of the best counters to hog, actually because even if you earthquake it it's still going to full defend the hog but you do want to get tower damage you don't want to just let them defend for free and eq cycling does also just cycle you back to another card yo this is getting a bit sketchy he's spamming a lot i think we will have to go for our evo firecrackers let's just do that mighty miner doing a solid job at taking care of everything though let's go pre-eq again just to get the tower damage not really anything else just it's pretty important to get that damage and oh princess might Okay, I was going to say, Princess might die to the Firecracker Splash. That would have been insane, but uh, let's go. Okay, that is super far back. I still just want to log it, I guess. Let's go for the Mighty. Yo, this is a bit sketchy. Hold up, hold up. Uh, I'm going to EQ on defense, honestly. Firecracker should splash the Princess. Beautiful. So as you guys can see, Earthquake plus any bit of damage does kill a Princess. That's a pretty important interaction to know because that was just getting a bit too intense for me. I just had to do something. Goes for the Rocket Cycle. So this is where Log Bit gets annoying because they can just Rocket Cycle you. And uh, you can't actually do much about it because Rocket does so much more damage than the Earthquake. But I'm going to outcycle him right now. And let's just go in with the Hog right away. Let's log this barrel. And I know he has a Goblin Gang, which the Firecracker will splash. Okay, well played. Goes for the Iceberg Goblin Gang. Tesla, no! I knew he was going to Prince, as you can see. I reacted before he even got it down, but unfortunately, just does not come down in time. Anyway, Cycle is crucial here, guys. Going Hog right away. He's going to go Eye Tower. I'm just going to Earthquake it, but we are getting damage. I'm pretty sure his next play is going to be the Rocket. So now I'm going to show you guys how to deal with this stuff in Triple Elixir. Basically, to utilize the mighty miner three card cycle to my full advantage to outcycle this log bit player and just get a lot of damage it's gonna go for hog number one goes for the evo knight and goblin gang let's just earthquake that and now he's not going for the eye tower right away but he will soon as you can see i'm already back to another hog rider which we will go for right about now earthquake the tower plus the eye tower and i'll just get a tesla down on the board to take care of that princess and as you can see he is two cards away from the eye tower if i'm not mistaken if i'm counting cycle correctly and i'm all the way back to my hog he goes for the rocket he's at one elixir let's pre-eq let's firecracker on the gang as well he did cycle back but we are already back to another hog gonna go hog once more as i said cycle is super crucial let's pre-log on the goblin gang oh that was beautiful and that is gonna be a good game now because he just can't stop this hog gets one hit we're gonna go for yet another hog just not even let him do anything gonna keep the pressure up he does rocket but as I said, I'm going to pressure so we can't actually do a rocket like that. And we pre-log a good gang twice. That is two for two, boys. That is an amazing prediction. That's going to be a good game. How to outplay log bait in Triple Elixir. That was beautiful, man. That was just amazing. So Triple Elixir, three-card cycle, outcycling, very crucial. Pre-logs on the gang, and that's going to be a great win. Alright guys, got a game against this Japanese player, a game for 2300 medals now in Ultimate Champion League, getting closer, getting higher up. Let's give the good luck, let's go Hog, and see what's going on here. So, he's gonna go for the Goblins, okay, that doesn't tell me too much about the deck. Should be two hits, maybe? No, just one, okay. But Goblins doesn't tell me too much about what deck he's playing, actually, because I think a lot of decks do actually run Goblins these days, like, either Skeletons or Goblins, okay, Wallbreakers. So, it's obviously some kind of Wallbreaker deck. I'd want to say maybe Goblin Drill? Okay, what the hell? Okay, Firecracker. I did not know that your aim was that bad. If I did, I wouldn't have even played you. So, wow, that was really just a wasted firecracker. Thankfully, he doesn't really utilize it to its full advantage, though, and go for the um, uh, activation, excuse me. And he, like, probably could have done something there. Speaking of activations, though, guys, I will go for my own right now. Hold up. Let's go for the firecracker once his Mega Knight's about to enter the jump animation. And that's going to be an activated King Tower. I'm going to ignore these guys. So, you can see right here. Actually, let me log because one will get killed by the King Tower. Pretty important to know. I was going to ignore them because I realized, okay, nothing's actually going to die because the tower's tanking, uh, getting tanked for by the miner. But I realized the King does help out on, like, one wall breaker at the very end. So, I decided to just log anyways. It was a good play. But. We're down a bit of damage, but this looks like an interesting matchup. Mega Knight Wallbreakers. I know a lot of you guys, especially those of you who are hard stuck in mid ladder, want to know how to defeat Mega Knight decks, especially maybe with a deck like this, Hog Rider. So hopefully I can show you guys exactly how to do that. Hog will get one hit, maybe two if I'm lucky. Nope, these hogs in this game, uh, they don't want to give me free damage, which is fair, but the other games, dude, I was getting some crazy hog hits for no reason. Let's go Ice Spirit at the back and the right, let's cycle a Mighty into this bandit, and uh, Mighty Miner's an interesting card. As I said, you can use Knight in this deck if you guys want. You can even use Evo Knight if you want. Oh, we're gonna take a lot of damage here, hold up. Let me Tesla. 
don't really have a choice. He's zapped, so let me actually go hog at the bridge right now, because he's low on elixir. I could predict the minions with the firecracker right now. Oh man, if I predicted that, if I pre-logged, I would have gotten so much damage, but I didn't feel confident, honestly, because I knew he had either minions or goblins, so pre-log, if it hit minions, would have been a terrible play, and then if on firecracker, I guess it actually would have been a decent play, but I was just a bit scared about it. Look at this interaction, guys. Evo Tesla does a great job at taking care of Evo Wallbreakers, it's important to know that. I think we can go for a firecracker, actually. I don't know if he has arrows or not, I'm a bit worried about that. Let's go hog right now. I'm ready to try and tank, uh, or catch that miner. Let's firecracker the Mega Knight, let's go. Okay, that's going to be one hit on the tower. One hit, and then one more, right? Let's go, so that's a lot of damage. Let's protect this Firecracker. Firecracker protection program right now. Hog again, and look at how much value this Evo Firecracker is getting. It's absurd. It's still going. It's going to get on those minions, too. It's still alive. He's forced to miner to snipe it, and it still basically killed everything in that push. That is insane, dude. Firecracker value goes crazy, so protect your Firecrackers, guys. That's a huge tip that I should have said sooner, but get the most value out of them, because they are crazy. Right now, Hogs going to town, one hit. No, no hits. Wow, I'm surprised. Let's Mighty Miner anyways, though. Protect the Firecracker once more. Does get sniped by his own, but I'll snipe it with my own Tesla now. Take that out, and then we're in a pretty good spot. I mean, this matchup is not terrible, I'd say. I mean, it's a bit annoying with the Mega Knight and the pressure, but he can't really kill a Firecracker that easily, and Hog Rider as well doesn't have the best counters to it. Like, he usually will take one hit. Let's Earthquake Cycle. Another tip for you guys, once you're in a certain position in a match, and especially if you don't have an earthquake target, say a building or like even swarm, you can start earthquake cycling just to get tower damage. That's a big tip with this deck that I think a lot of people don't really know or utilize, but it's a very important one. Let's pre-log on the goblins. Okay, this is what I was worried about, but we'll still get a hit maybe. He doesn't go for the zap. We don't get the hit. Okay, let's uh, Evo Tesla, I guess, um, for these. Ice Spirit plus... Hmm, I guess I'll Skelly cycle back to my Mighty. Let's also Hog to pressure while defending right now. And that's going to be maybe one hit. Let's EQ on the Goblins. One hit, beautiful. That is going to be enough to win me the game, actually. That should be two Earthquakes. Let's log on the Firecracker, beautiful. Caught the Wallbreakers, too. Oh, he is spamming so heavily, dude. Wait, the Wallbreakers? Oh my god, wait. Okay, wow, that was a lot of damage, but... Uh, let's just Hog right, right now and pre-EQ. This should be a good game. I should win the game off of this. Ice Spirit plus Log. Yep, we got the game, so GG's. Pretty close ending, but really nice win. Activation helped out a lot, and Pressure Obs it was good, but he did play well. He pressured well, but I was just... I played pretty good, and I had a pretty decent matchup up there, I'd say. So, nice win. 2300. Nice goal. Alright, guys. Found our game against Nova Bochum. Okay, this guy... Don't think it's the real Nova Bochum, or Bochum, but uh, if you guys remember, he was one of the OG Lava Loon players back in the day. One of the best in the world, actually. I don't think this is him. I know there are a lot of, like, fan accounts. Yo, look at that, by the way. Everyone who hates Hog Rider. I guess that's your reason, right? Because he went Valkyrie, Mega Minion, 7 Elixir for 4. I still got 2 hits. That's wild. But we are definitely up against Lava Loon. I was going to say Bochum again. One of the best Lava players of all time. And this guy... Uh, having that name is most likely just going to be that. So let's go Hog. I think he spent a lot of Elixir there. So it should be a good play. Oh, he goes Tombstone. Let me log. I didn't know he had Tombstone or not. So that's going to be one hit still. Nice. Good log. Uh, important to go for these plays, guys. Like, you need fast reaction time with Hog sometimes to support your Hog Rider with either a log or an Earthquake. Even better, though, a very important skill with this deck is actually going to be... Uh, predictions, like Prediction Log, Prediction Earthquake even, but mainly Prediction Log on like a Skarmie, on a Tombstone maybe, Prediction EQ on a building, it's going to be pretty crucial. So a big thing in this tip, or a big tip for this matchup guys, is going to be Mighty Minor Pressure uh, at the bridge. So you notice that I didn't have a Hog in Cycle, but I want to keep the pressure going. So I went Mighty Miner at the bridge just to force out the Valkyrie, and now I'm going to go for the Hog as well to just support this even further. He's going to get the activation off the Mega Minion, but we'll get at least two hits, if not three maybe. Three hits? No way. Oh my god, three hits. That's wild. So we have a nice damage lead, and I'm back to my evil firecracker right now, which I don't really want to use so early on, but I think I just have to defend this, and I could mighty in front, but I think that would be too aggressive, so let's just let this go. He does void anyway, so perfect. I thought he would, like, you know, maybe take an activation or something, but he does just go for the void. Again, guys... Mighty Miner the bridge. Back, circling back to that tip. Pressure with Mighty Miners because he has Lava in Cycle, and I don't have a Hog in Cycle to punish it. Let's go for the Earthquake on the Tombstone, and then we can go with the Hog behind the Mighty if we need to. But I want to see what else he does on this first, because I can actually go Mighty Ability and hit the Tower. That'll be a lot of damage, actually. Let's go for that. As you can see, we hit the Mega Minions, don't need to respond to that anymore. And we just get a lot of value out of that. Finally goes for his first Lava Hound. Let's go for the Hog Rider. As you can see, guys, the way I play that single Elixir, as I mentioned earlier as well, against Beatdown, you need to play single super well. Two hits, by the way, with an activated King and Skeleton Dragons. But, um, 
You need to use single elixir to your advantage when you're playing hog, especially against beatdown. And I'm going into double with a huge lead. I'm great void block as well, by the way. Let's go for our new Evo Tesla. Um, new Firecracker 2. Goes for the Evo Valk in the right. I can go Mighty Ability, actually, maybe. Actually, I'll let it go, because I'd rather just defend this if I can. Okay, Firecracker. Yo, this is going to be a lot of damage. Good pressure by him, but I should be able to live. Perfect. Yeah, good Firecracker, guys. Oh, that was a really clean defense, honestly. That's going to be GG's. So, Hog does okay against Lava Loon, actually. If they don't have arrows, then Hog can defend Lava pretty well, because Firecracker stacking... Um, Tesla is really good on defense, especially Evo Tesla. And most importantly, the Mighty Miner on offense is so crucial. So that, I know how to play this matchup. That is how you play this matchup. Wonderful win against a good Lava player. Alright guys, into our game against M. Madi, uh, Mad, okay, I, I'm just going to call him Mad, I guess. Because it looks like he's saying Mad and then Mod or something. But, okay, Battle Ram. Let's go with the Tesla. This is probably going to be P.E.K.K.A. I faced a fair share of P.E.K.K.A. recently. I'm not going to lie to you guys. P.E.K.K.A. is supposed to be free for Hog, But recently, it really hasn't felt that way. Because P.E.K.K.A. is so strong. Even for Expo, P.E.K.K.A. has been so good recently that it's just, like, causing problems all around. I'm not sure what it is. It's just kind of annoying to face. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, it's mainly the new cards. Wow, look at the skill. P.E.K.K.A. Bro. Okay. Um, Skellies, hopefully, to protect the Mighty. Perfect micro right there. And then I think I go ability to keep the Mighty Miner alive, honestly. And just get that bomb on the LP as well. It does go for the Void. Let's log. That was a perfect defense, guys. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That was so clean. Let's go Hog to Pressure since he's low on Elixir. And that's going to be a beautiful punish. One hit. Two hits. Should be three, if not four. He has to zap still three hits. So that's going to be a beautiful defense and a beautiful counter push. Now we can just go Skeletons to counter the Bandit. Perfect placement, as you guys can see. Okay, I lied. Not perfect placement. So I'll just go Ice Spirit to make up for that. But uh, yeah, really nice start to this match. When he went for a super aggressive random P.E.K.K.A. for no reason. So... Hmm, in terms of this matchup, obviously in pressure applies so well. I don't even know about spamming in single though, guys. Like, I think I'll cycle a firecracker. I don't think you want to pressure as heavily as you do against beatdown with this, because I actually make that mistake. I'll tell you guys right now, learn from my mistake. I go hog the bridge every chance I get in a matchup like this. Alright, I used to sometimes. I still do, like, muscle memory, and I lose for it. But, as I said, I lose for it. Like, they just get a huge counter push going with, like, they take some damage or they get, like, a bandit or a ghost counter pushing, then... I just can't defend their stuff, so it's really annoying, actually. And uh, just don't overspend, and don't let them do that to you. Like, don't give them a huge counter push for no reason. So, really good defense on the Mighty Miner, or against the Little Prince. And then I'll just go hog the bridge right now. You can go P.E.K.K.A. I'll go Firecracker to predict the P.E.K.K.A. Okay, good prediction, but what are you doing, Firecracker? Oh my god, he went to the Phoenix? Uh, or she? Dude, that's so sad. Why did he go to the Phoenix? That's so annoying. Let's log the Bandit. Still alive on 1 HP, of course. Story of my life, but... We have a nice lead actually going to double. I'm not feeling too bad about this. Let's go with the Firecracker low. Yo, how is that bypassing, bro? This is why I hate P.E.K.K.A. It's just so stupid in so many ways, man. Let's pop ability and then log. Ability plus log should clean most of that up. Yeah, really nice. And we get the Mighty Miner to counter push and survive. Let's go hog as well. Just keep this push going. Force a P.E.K.K.A. out most likely. He's going to go P.E.K.K.A. to activate King, which is going to be annoying. But at least we're going to get two hog hits. And uh, Mighty will do a lot of damage to that P.E.K.K.A. Like, it's going to get that charge up. Really nice. Takes out a little bit under half of that P.E.K.K.A.'s HP. Yo, this is such a huge push. Can I even stop this? Let's go log on everything. Tesla. Evo Firecracker. Need you to do your thing, man. Like, this is so scary. Uh, Skelly's to kite this over. He does activate King for me. Let's go Muddy in the middle. Dude, I'm so scared. Muddy Miner. And then I have to pop Ability, I think. So let's go for that to avoid the P.E.K.K.A. hit. Yo, beautiful P.E.K.K.A. hit dodge right there. Tesla. Dude, this defense is crazy, but I lived. Oh my god. I lived, I lived. Yo, that's, that was a crazy defense, but this is why I hate P.E.K.K.A. They built such massive pushes, just going P.E.K.K.A. the back. And you are in trouble, like, when you're in that situation. But we are in this match. We are in this match. Let's not choke right now. Let's go Mighty Miner on the Ghost, and then Skellies, as I did in the start as well. Great micro play. That's going to do a good job of just DPSing everything down. Yo, I swear the ability wanted to come down, but it didn't. That is so sad. Let's go Skellies to keep the Tesla alive. Beautiful play, as you guys can see. I knew he was going to go for a Ram, so I kept the Tesla alive. And because of that, I think I can go win now. Because the Tesla Death Pulse will do a lot of work. Yup, goes P.E.K.K.A. super late. And we're going to get two hits for our trouble. So we are back in the lead off of that punish. One of the biggest tips, guys, I can't believe I didn't tell you this sooner, is Elixir counting with Hog Rider. Know when they're low on Elixir and they can't afford their best counters, then you want to go Hog the Bridge to punish that ASAP. One of the best tips I can give you guys with this deck for sure. Um, so get better at that skill if you aren't that great at it. It's going to be so useful. going to go Evo Firecracker right now. Do your thing, man. Uh, okay, just do nothing, I guess. Uh, okay, at least it kills the LP. 
Let's go with the hog at the bridge. He does go for the void, but void will get blocked on the hog. So we'll get one hit for our troubles because the firecracker sacrificed herself. The noble firecracker getting us that hog hit. Although I think I would have rather it got a hit on all this support. I'm not going to lie to you. But back to a new firecracker. Mighty ability does work there. Let's go for the second Tesla. Evo Tesla at that. And Firecracker is blocking this Void. Never mind, Void is so busted. But Evo Tesla Death Pulse is also busted. Let's go for the Mighty Miner to tank for this ramp. Please don't charge. Oh my god, it does. This is so intense, dude. Uh, we have to hog right now. We just have to hog right now. And then pre-log on the Bandit plus maybe like a P.E.K.K.A. Evo Firecracker Bridge. Yo, that's a hit. Oh, that's game, dude. That was such an intense match, but... We won. I just despise P.E.K.K.A. I've been choking so much against P.E.K.K.A. decks, so I'm so glad for that win. Let's go, guys. One win away from top 1,000 in the world now. Alright, guys. This is going to be the match for top 1K. Can we get it done? I'm not going to lie to you. I've been pushing for longer than I'd have liked to. It's pretty rough, but I'll do my best. So we're going to see the split wall breakers and then the goblins. Okay, let's go with the Tesla. We'll take care of the wall breakers. Yo, that was two hits. So I guess he messed up the goblin timing or something. <coughs> Excuse me, I just had to sneeze for a second there, but uh, I'm back. Uh, he goes recruits the back, so that's Firecracker the bridge. I don't know about this play, actually. I don't know if it's like a good play or not. Um, we do force the arrows out, so I feel like no matter where I went Firecracker, he would have gone arrows anyway, so might as well go for that the bridge, you know? Let's go Skelly's kite all these recruits over. Let's just sack against those wall breakers. Beautiful mighty ability, and then that's just going to... Uh, defend these so I think the biggest thing against recruits is going to be that mighty minor ability and guys the mighty minor is such a crucial part of this deck again you can use knight if you want but I think mighty minor is just so good if you use knight I feel like you can use evo knight evo tesla evo knight evo firecracker but I think the best is probably evo firecracker evo tesla and running the mighty minor means you have the full capability to do that so we get two hog hits but we have a massive recruits push to deal with so we got to get back to the mighty minor as I mentioned mighty over here we can go skellies if we need to to cut everything over. Let's go ability right about now. That should do a lot of work. As you can see, it's just putting in work, man, against these recruits. Then we can log the left side. That was a perfect defense, pretty much. I feel like I could hog the bridge right now at four, but I just don't know his exact elixir. I've been trying to focus on my commentary a bit, so I don't know his exact elixir or card cycle, so I'm just going to chill. Um... And not like do anything too risky. Yeah, we're actually down elixir right now, but let's go hog because that mighty miner will not defend the hog fully. He left to overcommit if he wants to defend it. Okay, he's gonna do a good job of sacking two hits, but if I can defend this, then he loses the game now because he's down so much elixir. But he did sack that uh, damage just to go all in with this push, I guess. Let's go Tesla. Okay, wow, that was one of the worst plays I've ever seen in my life, guys. So he went. Okay, I guess he goes void, but. He literally went with that play to, like, sack damage, right? And, like, go all in with his push. And he didn't even go in. Like, he literally just... I don't even know what he was doing. But let's go for our mighty ability right now. Oh, my God. That was a clean mighty ability, if I've ever seen one. That was beautiful. We're going to get a lot more of those, I feel like, in this match. Evil Firecracker counter pushing doesn't really matter. He's going to get the activation. But at what cost? We get the sparks flying on the left side. Yo, that was, like, 200 damage in the left. I don't even know if that was worth taking. One hog hit. Let's go Firecracker at the back. Evo recruits, massive push about to come down. But we're going to get the crazy mighty ability again. Let's go mighty minor ability right about now. Let's go for the ability and let's see what we can get out of this ability. Oh, that was a beautiful ability, dude. That was so satisfying. On the wall breakers, on every single recruit, I think, and then even some swarm. That was so clean. And now the game is basically over because uh, it's, it's done. Like, I can just pretty much defend and get this W. So we can go Tesla. We can just get our EQ cycle going. I think there should be two earthquakes probably, so... Uh, yeah, two EQs, two logs, so let's go with the Ice Spirit. Let's go Evo Firecracker, log, and then EQ should do it. That's going to be GG's against Recruits. I'm going to say thanks just because I despise Recruits, but beautiful win. Let's go. That's going to be top 1,000 in the world with Hog Rider Earthquake, guys. He has the well played. Honestly, I feel kind of bad. Maybe he's being a good sport, and I said thanks, but still, it's going to be Recruits, you know. But that's it, guys. The push has come to an end. Tough 2,400 and top 1,000 with my second favorite archetype in the game. Let's take a look. That's going to be ranked 971, so beautiful stuff there. And that is going to be a great ladder push. I hope I was able to help you guys out in terms of the best tips to succeed with this deck. I had a lot of fun playing it, even though it was a pretty difficult push overall. I did a good job, and I was able to finish off at 2400. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, especially you Hog Rider players. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.